Mother Fatima. No one thing, our children are like sponges. The question some of our kids are asking these days shows you just how bright our children are if the parents dedicate time to those children. Sayyida Zainab, six years old when her mother Fatima al-Zahra died. But subhanallah, the lesson she learned from her mother Fatima, which she applied into her life, what was the first lesson? Be politically active and never be silent when there is oppression. Because she saw Fatima al-Zahra, there was a number of occasions where she did not stay at home when she was needed politically. Sometimes in our communities, women are told that stay away from politics. This is not a world of women. You shouldn't be involved in politics. You are going to be in a compromising situation. Fatima al-Zahra, when Zainab was how old? When she was four. Fatima al-Zahra had already taken a political role in the event of Mubahala. When she had represented the Muslims on that event with the Christians of Najran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had ordered in the Quran, فَمَنْ حَاجَّكَ فِيهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَكَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ فَقُلْ تَعَالَوْ نَدْعُ أَبْنَاءَنَا وَأَبْنَاءَكُمْ وَنِسَاءَنَا وَنِسَاءَكُمْ وَأَنفُسَنَا وَأَنفُسَكُمْ Allah had ordered at that political event, Zainab was only four at the time. She saw her mother leaving the house. Today, the stereotype about the Muslim woman, she has to stay at home, has to cook, has to clean, she's oppressed. Zainab saw the Fatima leave the house to represent the religion. While what? While she was only four years of age. But then a couple of years later, she saw that when her dad had a political and spiritual issue, that was taking place in Medina. Did her mother Fatima Zahra stay at home? Did her mother Fatima Zahra say, listen, it's a woman's role to be silent. This belongs to men. On the contrary, she saw with all the oppression her mother faced, her mother gave one of the most eloquent speeches Islam has ever seen. Yes, that sermon that Fatima Zahra gave, having been oppressed, having been injured, Zainab was how old when her mother gave that sermon? Zainab was around six years of age when her mother gave that sermon. Her mother, while injured, stands in front of the men of Medina. You know, when we look later on at Sham, you think Sham was a coincidence when Zainab stood in front of Yazid? Zainab had drunk from the fountain of Fatima, yes? When Zainab stood in front of Yazid later on, where do you think Zainab saw this from? At the age of six, she saw her mother Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam while injured. There's others who will say, I will not get involved. Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam while injured left the house and made it clear that you are opposing us on the issue of fedak who knows the quran more me or you because if you say that you are more of aware of the quran than me was a political lesson that zainab never let there be a day where they tell you not to be politically outspoken oh zainab when you see oppression occurring speak don't stay silent. I'm your mother Fatima. I could have stayed at home and not said a single word when they took what they took. But when they took Fedek, I spoke. When they took your father's authority, I spoke out against them as well. She witnessed all of this, but beautifully she witnessed the spiritual side of her mother Fatima. There's a spiritual side. What is it? That when you serve and think about the creation, that is service to the creator. Because she says, I was sitting next to my mother Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam. I see my mother Fatima in dua and in salat al-layl. Look at the influence of the mother on the young Zainab. Because say the Zainab in Karbala, many people ask, how could Zainab stand and do salat al-layl after all that happened in Karbala and Kufa and Sham? It was Fatima's influence at a young age. That Fatima wanted Zainab to see the way she balanced politics, spirituality, and her social responsibilities. Sayyidah Zainab says, I see my mother Fatima recite dua. I hear her reciting dua and are praying for the community before praying for us. And my brothers would say, Mom, you pray for others before us? She says, Al Jar, Thumma Dar. Our neighbors, then we think about ourselves. Because some families, what will they do with their children? The main thing is us. You have to get a good degree. You have to get a good job. You have to be the best in school. Say, but how about the rest of the community? Forget the community for now. You are number one. Say the Fatima alayhi salam. What did she do with Zainab? Zainab, come here next to me. Whenever you read a dua, and this is one of the conditions for dua to be accepted, by the way. Many times people ask 
That's why is it that our du'as are not accepted? One of the conditions is that you pray for others before you pray for yourself. That you think of others before you think of yourself. Sayyidina Zainab alayhi salam sees her mother do that and sees her mother in Salat al-Layl praying for the forgiveness of the community. Sometimes it's hard to pray for the forgiveness of others. I want to think about myself only. And how many of you when you've come to pray Salat al-Layl, you're thinking of the names of the people, you think mom, dad, him, her, and then you think of them and you're like, why are they in my Salat al-Layl? Yes.